Hi boys and girls, for maths this week we have got something brand new. We are doing a whole week about shape, but they're not the shapes that we've done before, not the 2D flat shapes. We are getting so clever now that we're going to move on to solid, chunky, 3D shapes. Can you say that? 3D shapes, okay? Now you might see some of the shapes that you know, but these 3D shapes have got special names of their own. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna learn four, okay, this week, we're gonna really focus on four 3D shapes. Now I've brought with me to help us a 3D shape family. So this is Quinn Cube, okay? I'm turning around a little bit so you can see him. Quinn Cube. Now I think you might be spotting some shapes that you know because Quinn Cube has got squares all over him, hasn't he? He's got squares everywhere. But he's not called a square, he's called a cube. Can you say that? Cube. Okay, Quinn Cube. That's his name. Okay, let me tell you about another one of our shape family. We have got Sophie Cylinder. Sophie Cylinder. Okay, and she's very curved and she's got, oh, what shape has she got on the top there? She's got a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. So she's got some circle shapes on her, but she's not called a circle. She's called a cylinder. Can you say that? Cylinder. So we've got a cube and a cylinder. You say them? Cube, cylinder. They're two of our 3D shape family. Now, also in this family, oh, I think this little one's been a bit squashed a little bit. This is Sally Sphere. Sally Sphere. Can you see her? Sally Sphere. She looks a lot like a ball, doesn't she? And she's round, a bit like a circle, but she's not a circle. She's called a Sphere. Can you say that? Sphere. Quite a tricky one to say. It's like a s and a f together. A sphere. Okay, so she's Sally Sphere. So we've got Quinn Cube with his squares. We've got Sophie Cylinder. She's curved with a circle on the top and the bottom. And we've got Sally Sphere. She's like a ball shape, isn't she? And one last shape in our 3D shape family is Colin Cuboid. Colin Cube, he's got a crazy face, hasn't he? Colin Cuboid, okay? Now, there might be some shapes on Colin Cuboid that you recognize, because Colin Cuboid, he's got rectangles on him, and sometimes he has squares on him. This one's got a square on each end, and he's got rectangles all around him, okay? Now, He's not a rectangle and he's not a square. We call him a cuboid. Sounds a bit like this, doesn't he? Sounds a bit like the cube, but he's a cuboid. Can you say that? Cuboid and a cube, okay? Now, I've got a mini shape family here to help us learn lots of things about these shapes. So the first thing I want to show you is the cube. He's a small one compared to Quinn cube, isn't he? Okay, and cubes, have got square faces all over them. Not a face like our face with eyes and nose and a mouth. But when we talk about these special shapes, we call the things on the side of them faces. Don't know why we just do. Okay, so these are called square faces. And he's actually got six square faces. Should we count them together? One, two, three, four, five. And he's got one at the back, six. He's got six squares all over him. That's a cube. Can you say that? Cube with square faces. Now, we've also got Sally Sphere. Okay, and this is a sphere. And a sphere's just got one face and it goes all the way round. She doesn't have any straight edges. She doesn't have any pointy corners. A sphere is just got one face that goes round. That's cool, isn't it? Okay, Sophie Cylinder. See the little cylinder there? Okay, and a cylinder has got two circle faces, one, two, and it's got a curved face that goes round here. So it's got three faces, one, two, and a curved face. Okay, and we've also got 
Colin Cuboid. Here he is with his crazy face. Okay, and he, or a cuboid shape, has rectangle faces. And this one's got two square faces on each end. Sometimes they have rectangle faces all over them, everywhere. Okay, six rectangle faces. That's a cuboid. Now, I wonder if we can think of some things that look like these shapes. I think this one looks like a ball, doesn't it? Or maybe a tangerine. Yeah, it's like a sphere shape. We have things in our real world that are shaped like this. Can you think of anything that might be a cube shape? Mm, I think maybe like a dice or a box. Okay, we have things in our world that are cube shapes. What about a cylinder? A cylinder. We have toilet rolls. Okay, a toilet roll is this shape. It's this way around, isn't it? And you pull the toilet roll off it. Okay, that's a cylinder shape or a tube. Okay, or a tub of gravy. Okay, we have lots of things in our world that are cylinder shapes. And how about cuboids? Lots of boxes or bricks are cuboid shapes, aren't they? Now, your job today is to go on a hunt around your house and see if you can find anything that looks like Sally Sphere, anything that looks like Sophie Cylinder, anything that looks like Colin Cuboid, or, oh, sit him on there, look, anything that looks like Quinn Q. Okay, we're looking for objects that look like these 3D shapes. I've had a quick hunt around school and let me show you what I found. I found a dice that's a cube shape. I found a, this kind of brick building thing that's a cuboid shape. It's a very thin, long cuboid, isn't it? I also found a DVD case. And this is actually a cuboid, but it's a very thin, squashed one. It's like somebody's got this cuboid here and they've squeezed it really skinny because it's still got rectangle shapes all over it, hasn't it? See these rectangle shapes? That's a very skinny cuboid. I also found on my hunt a big tube in the construction area, and that's a cylinder shape, isn't it? It's got those circle shape there, and the circle shape there, and then one face that goes curved round, just like the cylinder. What else did I find? Oh, I found a glue stick that was a cylinder shape too. That one's got that curved face here. Circle, circle. What else did I find? I found that looks like a sphere. I found a little football. That's a sphere shape. And I also found a ball pool ball. She's got a face on too. Huh? And that was everything I found around school on my shape hunt. Now it's your job to go around your house and see if you can hunt out some things that are shaped like a sphere, some things that are shaped like a cylinder, some things that are a cuboid, and some things that are a cube. Okay, have fun on your shape hunt. Send us some pictures of what you find. See you later.